Hello once again everyone and welcome back to the Getting Started with Harmony tutorials. So as promised, uh, let's do something a little bit more fun this time. I want to start introducing you guys to the drawing tools. Uh, because before we can animate things, we need to be able to create them in the software. So I'm going to be uh, visiting this toolbar over here on the left. It's on the left on my screen anyway. Yours might be located elsewhere. If you can't find it, then go ahead to Windows and Toolbars and make sure Tools has a little check beside it. If Tools is checked, then it's somewhere on your workspace. And today in particular, I'm going to talk about the brush tool. So the brush tool is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to uh, make brush strokes on a drawing layer. And what's a drawing layer? Well, you've got one by default in your Toon Boom uh, file every time you start one up. So if you start drawing, it'll automatically place that drawing on your drawing layer. And we'll get into more on what those are a little bit later. So the brush tool will paint based on whatever your currently selected brush and color are. And you can find those over here on the right. Your tool properties is a dynamic window, so it will change based on whatever tool you currently have active. So because it's the brush, we can see all of our brushes. And I have a bunch of ones here that I made for myself based on uh, common needs. While I've been working, I've got different sizes of brushes. And the color, of course, unsurprisingly, can be found down here in the colors tab. So black is selected by default, but I can click any other color to activate that color in my workspace. So if you've ever had to draw anything with the flash brush before, working with the Toon Boom brush will immediately be worth the price of admission to the software. It's uh, intuitive, it draws what you intended to draw, which is very important, and it's also incredibly variable. So to mess with those variables, we're going to return over here to the Tools Property window. There's a few options here up at the top that allow you to make changes to your brush on the fly. So I've got my brush 3 here, and it makes a stroke like that. But if I increase the maximum size slider, you'll notice that my preview window increases in size as well. And again, unsurprisingly, when I paint, my brush stroke is now thicker. So that's a quick way to change the brush size. And then adjusting the amount of smoothing will change the automated smoothness of the brush. And that has more to do with the number of nodes that are used to create the brush. And we'll get more into nodes later. Now both of these sliders are kind of temporary changes. If I click off of my brush 3 and then click back, it gets reset to its default size. So you never need to worry about losing your favorite brushes by making changes to these sliders on the fly. So feel free to mess around with it. And also, pro tip, if you want to adjust the size of your brush without going over here to the slider, you can simply press the O key on your keyboard. And with that held, you can drag left and right to increase or decrease the size of the brush on the fly. So I get a very fat brush, decrease it to a thin brush. That'll work with a lot of the tools in Harmony. I didn't learn it until years into my Harmony career, and I really wish somebody had clued me in earlier. So I'm passing that favor on to you. All right, so let's say you're drawing. You make some changes to your sliders here, and you find a brush that you really like, and you don't want it to be temporary. You want it to be permanent. Well, if you want to make a permanent new brush, once you've got the slider set to the positions you want, you can click on the plus pencil icon here, and that will create a new brush preset for you. You can name it wherever you'd like. Let me call it Steve's new brush, and hit OK, and Steve's new brush will show up here in my brushes window, and I can move it around to make it prominent or less prominent. And in addition to that, if you've made a brush that you like, but you want to make changes to it, you can select the brush, and then up here by the preview window, you'll see this little arrow. If I click on that, it'll open up a window, which contains all the information for that brush, and it can be changed. So let's say I want to make Steve's new brush a little bit thinner. Change the minimum size so it's got an even thinner tip. Adjust the smoothing or the contour smoothing. Even adjust the tip shape. That can all be done in this window. These effects will take place immediately, so as soon as I start drawing, you can see those changes are there. And if I want to save those changes permanently to my brush, I need to click this icon here, the Update Brush Preset button. And you'll notice it changes the preview there. And now Steve's new brush has a fancy new kind of calligraphy look to it. And those are the basics of the brush tool. 
There's a lot more advanced features that you can get into. We can talk about textures and uh, brush patterns and things like that, but that can happen later. Right now you know enough to get drawing, so go ahead, scribble away in Harmony, see what you can create, and then we'll come back again later and talk about more tools. Until then, happy animating.